Hi there, this is the Levitsky trap in a type of Neo Trompovsky. It has caught out several decent players, so it definitely does have some practical value as well as a certain aesthetic charm. It's named after Arthur Levitsky, a player at our club who used this system regularly. After d4, d5, bishop g5. Bishop g5 is usually seen after knight f6 and then we have a standard Trompovsky. But interesting is when it's played after d5, bishop g5, it goes to disrupt black's development, similar to a system in the Dutch defence. Logical now for black is to play c5 because the queen is coming out then to b6 or a5, possibly hitting the b2 pawn, whose defender, the bishop on c1, is no longer. So white captures, and black continues with queen a5, check. Knight c3 is the best response by white, because not only does it interpose the check, but it's now hitting the pawn on d5. So black defends with the move e6, which in turn threatens to capture the pawn on c5. Now a great try by white, the counter threat with e4. And now we've got more pressure on d5. d5 is the target. And this is where black goes wrong. Black's already doing worse off. White's in a good position. But this move is pretty much losing. d takes on e4. Because that square on d8 becomes extremely tempting for white. White wants to get the queen in there to mate. And the only guard is the queen on a5, black's queen. So white tries to deflect the queen with b4. Now the queen has no other flight square other than c7 to keep her eye on d8. But this allows knight b5 hitting the queen. Only move for black now is to offer a trade. White does well to accept the trade with queen takes d7. Because if bishop takes on d7, knight c7 is checkmate. So after queen takes d7, black has to reply with king takes d7. But this allows the rook on a1 to join in the action. White here can castle long check. The king cannot drop back to e8 because that's going to allow rook d8 checkmate again. So the king has to venture out to c6. But this allows white to jump in with the knight to d6, hitting the bishop on c8 and the pawn on f7. And black is losing here in all variations. And if black were to capture that knight with bishop takes on d6, we're going to have rook takes d6 check. The flight square b5 is shielded and guarded by the bishop on f1 so the king has to drop back to c7 and now bishop d8 delivers checkmate this is lovely stuff and this has been the levitsky trap in a type of neo trompovsky hope you found it informative and thank you so much for watching bye bye